What's going on YouTube, man? Is it? Um, today's video is me showing you how to do the Thirsty Gods tomb. I'm hoping. Actually, I've, I've just done it on story mode, and I've clicked the save video, and it hasn't saved. It's errored out. So um, hopefully, I'm gonna see what this actually is, and I'm gonna just go through it again. It's quite an easy tomb, to be honest. Um, it's just complicated at first. It took me a while to figure it out, but um, well, I'm gonna say a while, but like five minutes. It's just it's not one of the hard tombs to be honest. It's just dodging the piranhas, you know. And you'll see what I mean. It's not many of them, but and they can be evaded easily. And they're not really gonna kill you. Come on, I've got up. I'm hoping this, this time score one of it is is actually me doing the tomb again, just on the time one. I don't care about how quick I do it. I just want to show you guys. Yeah, I'm all ready. I do. Oh God, what is that smell? Oh, I'm back here. Oh, okay, so that's actually gonna let me do the tomb again. I've never done any trial ones before, so I don't know what it actually is. Fuck off! <coughs> oh, love, I'll swim up, man, you idiot, swim up! What well, die, man? What are you doing, Lara? Oh my god, what was she actually doing? She just wouldn't move. Oh my god. Oh, I don't care about the time in a minute. Just, just... Well, there. Right. Might be a path underwater. I don't know to do it, I don't... I don't... I'm taking care of the score. Alright, so what you're going to do... Get your bow and arrow out. Pull that like that. Is this that supposed to be one of the beheaded gods of the underworld? Gap in a wall through there with a green thing is something for that. Obviously, you won't see it unless you go in the water. I'm not doing too bad for score actually, considering the target's got 15k. Oh, and also, also it's already there for me now. But with this actual one, it'll be underwater, so all you gotta do is swim down and cut it right in. So then you can do the just do that. So. I don't know why it's there for me now. I guess it's just this part of the child thing, the score thing, or the run. It's pretty easy. Alright, so this is basically what I mean. Um, the piranhas are feeding on the corpses. Yeah, you just be careful with piranhas, that's have to all find a way so. up. So, I mean, about some of them underwater now. Um, to be honest, you don't really know all about them. The only other one you got about is over there. Uh, actually, I'll just do it. Just show you that kind of about. Trying to evade the piranhas at all costs. 
And then the other one is just in here. Cut the rope. It's real simple with Tim actually. Once you, once, once you know how to do it, it's real simple. Um, what you gotta do is. You can do it all from here, it like, takes two minutes. Literally two minutes. It's on top of it. Come over it. Right, put that on there, just a little of water. That thing will go down. Jump on there, ready. Grab that, go an hour. Connect that, just like that. And what you do then is come back up here. Lift the water slightly back again. Not too far, just enough for it to open up. Open up like that, and then let go. Or is it more, wait, oh, come on, it will snap. Like, so you want to do it like that, just like that there, to get the gate open. Got it to stay open. Because if you, if what you what you want to what, what will happen is if you put that water back in that wheel, that rope was connected to that to that rope to there will snap. So basically, you make, all you got to do is come back up there, release those these pallet things. Using that climb up there, like that. You don't have to necessarily do the first one, but that one there you have to do to climb up from there, come around it, do that. Water on there to level water, just to climb down to there, connect the ropes, come back up, move the water to there just enough for it to open the gate, and then move the water off the wheel. Other than that, it's real simple, and then you just basically swim through, dodging the, the water level. all the piranhas. And you're pretty much there. Oh, I've got my... I'm more score than I was even I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get the score, to be honest. Don't mind, there was quite a bit of loot as well, I'm going to get you goodies. But that's I'll complete again, that's not need much. And oh, that's a tomb completed. And the you get the power you get is uh New best score. Okay. Don't care that but okay. Basically it gives you more um when you go against armored enemies, the armor it gives you more power against them, that's all it really does. But yeah, that's that done. That's how simple the tomb is, to be honest, that is probably the sim most simplest, easiest tomb on this game to do. It's a bit complicated at first, because I, I, for me it was more, release this pallet straight away, climb around, figure out the water thing, how to lower that straight away. But then when I, was, I, I figured out, oh well, hang on, what if I connect that rope to that rope? And I did that, that worked. And I had the idea of, because um, I spent like five minutes looking around first, just wandering around trying to see if anything when I tried to do the water thing, oh, I thought I'd do that 963 in the world. <laughs> First time doing it, um, I'll try one. I'm not about the score to be honest. Um, and then basically, like I was saying, you get the rope, you go back to that machine with a little bit, use it over water or hire it, put it on the wheel just enough to open the gate, and move it off quickly, otherwise it will snap. And then swim through, climb up, and that's it, all done. That is all the tombs completed. I ain't doing these ones because I ain't paying for them. I can't be bothered. Um, as you can see, once you've unlocked, once you complete the tombs in store mode, they will show up here, which is how you're unlocking for the trial one. And you will, when you've completed all the tombs, you will get a trophy as well. It's called uh, Tomb Raider. Literally, Tomb Raider. But uh, again, that's probably one of the hard ones as well. Uh, that's the one I've just done. That wasn't that cut hard, to be honest. Uh, that was a bit confusing because there's a lot of climbing. That was a bit confusing at first, trying to organise the light stuff. Uh, Path of Battle. Yeah, that one was a bit of a pain in the ass to figure out at first. Uh, that one wasn't too bad. 
again, using your eyes and figure it out, you are pretty easy to do. Uh, Underworld Gate, again, an easy one. Uh, Judges Gate is another easy one. To be fair, they're all pretty easy. The only one I, was, I, I would say is, I think it's struggling, I've done it the first time, it was a tree of life, but got a couple, uh, quite a bit of ammo, you're fine. You just need a lot of ammo on you, on the guns. Pretty warning you. Because you have a load of them um, savage people, but people are do all that sacrificial shit and whatever it is they do um, in there. So um, I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please like and subscribe. And thank you very much. Peace out.